Should you get scabby? Short answer, yes. Long answer. This entire video. I am scabby. Bounty hunter. Yo. Scaddy is a six-star dreadnought or dualist guard from Aegir. A mysterious and experienced EG Rian bounty hunter. That is now a combat operator in Rhodes Island. Scaddy is one of the oldest six-star operators in the game. That is now have her very own alter version, and is available in recruitment. This blue Scaddy is a one-block dualist guard. That has a very big HP and attack stats, but sadly no resistance. Following the CN server, she and other dreadnought guard like Melantha and Flamebringer will get an HP and attack buff in the near future. Although it's not a huge buff, but it's better than nothing. And currently she hasn't yet received a combat module upgrade. So expect your Skadi will receive more buff after she got that module upgrade. Moving on, this is her potentials upgrade list. This will surely beneficial. But I think Skadi is fine even without her potentials upgrade. Next up, let's see her talent. Her first talent will increase all Abyssal Hunter's attack, including herself. This talent does not need her to be deployed. Just put her in your squad and her talent will active. The second talent, it will cut her redeployment time by minus 10 seconds. This will make her redeployment time to only 60 seconds and can be further improved by using her potentials and ability like Silver Ash. This is actually pretty useful, considering her skill that we will talk very soon. And then for her skills. The first skill will increase her attack damage and attack speed. Quite useful for starter. Then the second skill. Probably her most used skill. It's a passive skill that will immediately active once she is deployed and increase her attack for the remaining of the skill duration. It's an effective skill to assassinate an enemy, and a good combination with her reduced redeployment time. Lastly her third skill. It will increase her attack, HP and defense stats, making her into a very strong and durable ground unit against physical damage. This skill have a long duration, but also a very expensive SP cost. Although with the help of her initial SP, she can trigger this skill for the first time relatively quickly. But for the second usage, you will have to wait for a long time to activate it again. As for her base skills. Like other Abyssal Hunters, except Gladia. She really loves Rhodes Island Dorm. When assigned to the dormitory, increase her own moral recovery. It might seem unnecessary, but if you lack factory worker, Operators with this kind of skills can be used to replace other operators, with a more specific job in the base. And if you have Gladia, you can assign her to work in the factory. So, will Blue Scaddy become a good operator for your team? A very strong person in her lore, but quite the opposite in gameplay. As a 6 star guard, Scaddy has an impressive HP and attack stats. But her ability doesn't have anything special and can be overshadowed by others easily. Even her own alter version is actually more useful. When compared with other 6 star dreadnought, Nero the NTR Knight. Nero offer much more useful ability, both for the early or even late game content. Even other lower rarity like Melantha and Matoimaru. While cannot defeat Skadi in terms of damage and survivability, both of them should be enough to clear most of the early content in Arknights. Skadi is mostly used as a hella drop unit because of her talent and skill too. But when partnered with Glagelia, that has a talent to recover all Abyssal Hunter's HP in the field. Skadi can now perform slightly better as a permanent unit in the field. And can still pack a punch to some bosses. But to be honest I'm not recommending you to go all out gacha for Skadi. Especially if you are a newbie without many options of other operators. And since she's available in recruitment, maybe you will get her from there without spending a single orundum. That should be all. Adios.